Thanks. Um, hey, bad off. My name is Dylan. Hey, uh, I'm a 22 year old recent college graduate in Dover. Um, I am so scared of the climate crisis and the storms that are to come, like the ones that you talked about. Um, but I know that for my whole life that the fossil fuel industry has been paying off politicians. Um, hold on. Take your time. Um, but I know that you've also said recently that you are willing to not take any uh, contributions from PACs and lobbyists and fossil fuel execs. But I read recently that you took some contributions from fossil fuel. Uh, Tens of thousands of dollars. Uh, but I, I know that we can do this without them. I know that we can win and build a better future. So I'm asking you, will you take the no fossil fuel money pledge, which means you won't take any contributions from executives, fossil fuel executives, lobbyists, or PACs that are over $200. This still allows um, fossil fuel employees to contribute to campaigns because they deserve to. And I know that we can build a better future. So will you take the no fossil fuel money pledge and do this with us? Yeah. Thank you for being here. Um, as you mentioned, I don't take PAC money and have not taken PAC money for uh, approaching five years now as a member of Congress, as a Senate candidate, and now a candidate for the presidency. Um, as you may also know, I take no money from any lobbyist for any organization. $250 from a Chevron lobbyist on March 29th. Uh, you know what? I'll, I'll give you the microphone. Here you go. So you don't have to shout. Beto, I was really inspired to see that you said you would not take money from fossil fuel executives. But I looked it up and you did. You took the max contribution from eight different fossil fuel industry CEOs and executives and a lobbyist from Chevron on March 29th. And that just makes it hard for us to believe that you're going to keep your promises to address the climate crisis. So we want to know, do you stand with us and the millions of people whose lives are being affected by the climate crisis, those people in Houston? And if you do, will you prove it today by returning that dirty money and signing the No Fossil Fuel Money Pledge? Thanks for the, the question. Appreciate it. So you're right. I was just told as we drove in that we accepted on, on one of the last days of the FEC filing period a check from a lobbyist. We are returning that check from the lobbyist because we <laughs> There, there's a reason that I'm here right now with you and with these kids and not with my kids back home, Ulysses and Molly and Henry who are 12, 10, and 8. It's because I understand what is coming for them unless we take action right now. And I know that there is a way to do it, and I know there's a way to do it without excluding entire industries, without making people who work for oil and gas companies feel like they're the enemy, without coal miners feeling like they are somehow guilty of doing something wrong to this country or to this planet, bringing everybody into the solution that we have going forward. The single greatest industry that has contributed to our campaign so far, a campaign that has not accepted a single dime from a single political action committee, a campaign where 98% of our contributions are under $200, 99% of them came online and raised more than any other campaign in its first 24 hours, was public school educators and school teachers. So listen, I'm in this fight with you, and I know that you have a number of other candidates to vet and to ask questions of and to listen to their plans and policies, but I wanna do everything within our power to make sure that we get to net zero greenhouse gas emissions as soon as possible. I know that everything rests on the next 10 years. 